Question number 28. Which quadrant will be completely shaded in the graph of the inequality y is less than 2x? Well, the way you graph an inequality is first you graph y uh, equals 2x. y equals 2x is a line with y-intercept to 0 and slope of 2. Now this isn't the answer to the question. They want when is y less than or equal to, uh, to 2x. Uh, an example of a number that would make this true um, would be, let's say x was, uh, was 5 and y was 1. That, that's an example of a pair of numbers that would satisfy this inequality because 1 is less than or equal to 2 times 5. Well, 5 1's over here somewhere. So what we do is we're going to shade. If we can locate one point that satisfies it, we can shade the entire side of the line that contains that point. And um, this is quadrant 1. Uh, which quadrant will be completely shaded? Quadrant 1 is not completely shaded. Quadrant 2 is not shaded at all. Quadrant 3 is partially shaded, but it is quadrant 4 that is completely shaded. Question number 29. A figure is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle as shown in the diagram below. What's the area to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter? Well, this is a there's a rectangle and there's a semicircle. Well, the area of the rectangle, length times width, is 5 times 6, which is 30. The semicircle is pi r squared over 2, because it's half of the circle. Um, the, uh, the radius is 3, because this side is 6. That makes the diameter of the circle 6. So it's uh, pi times 3 squared, which is 9, over 2. Well, when you add 30 plus 9 pi over 2, and you can use your calculator for that, you'll get you 44.1. Just uh, approximate pi as 3.14. Question 30. The, vol the value y of a $15,000 investment over x years is represented by the equation uh, yeah this looks a little better <clears throat> 15,000 over x years represented by the equation 15,000 times 1.2 to the x over 3 what is the profit on a um, six year investment uh, well there's uh, two steps to this question first by substituting 1.2, change this x into 6, 6 over 3. That turns into 15,000 times 1.2 to the second power. Um, you should do 1.2 to the second power first. Uh, you get uh, 1.44, so 15,000 times 1.44. Now after you calculate this out, we're going to subtract away the initial 15,000. But let's see first. So this equals 21,600. Now that's how much the, the whole thing is worth, including the initial investment. But they want to know what's the profits. So the answer is actually not 21,600. Because we have to subtract away the 15,000 to get 6,600. That's why the answer is choice one. You've got to be careful on multiple choice since they don't give any part credit on those. Okay, let's move on to part two. Uh, there's three questions in part two. And let's see what these are like. Uh, Alexis calculates the surface area of a gift box as 600 square inches. The actual surface area of the gift box is 592 square inches, so she's off by a bit. Find the relative error of her calculations. Well, when you're off by 8, which she is in this case, that's not so bad if the thing is, is really big, but let's say you're estimating something very small, uh, something that's only like 
got like five things and you estimate it and you think it has 13 things that would be a big a big error uh, relative to the to the size of the initial thing so what we do is it's, it's eight is the amount that we're off by because five uh, 600 minus 592 is eight um, but on the bottom of the fraction we're going to put the actual amount now on your on your calculator you can calculate this out 8 over 592 8 over 592 which is rounded uh, 0 0.0135 0 0.0135 0 0.0135 rounds to 0.014 this is the answer you have to write to get full credit. Now, the way the regions gets graded, this is a two-point question. If you were off on your rounding, you would lose one point because they have to take something off and you can't lose part, partial or credit, half of a point or anything. So be very careful on these. If they say round to the nearest thousandth, you need to do that. Otherwise, you're going to lose half credit on this question, even if you understood all the other stuff. Another error you could have made was dividing 8 by 600. You want to divide by the actual uh, what the actual answer was. Okay, moving on to 32. Uh, perform the indicated operation negative 6 times a minus 7. Well, the distributor property is when you multiply the thing outside the parentheses by each of the terms on the inside. So you get minus 6a, here's the tricky part, plus 42, because the negative 6 gets distributed through, and the property used was the distributor property. Don't have to write an exclamation point, they might even take off points if you do that. Okay, the last question on part two. Communications company is building a 30-foot antenna to carry uh, cell phone transmissions. It's shown in the diagram below. Here's the wire. And their question is, what is the angle that the wire makes with the ground? So this is the angle we're looking for. This is a, because this is a right angle, we could use trigonometry. The sides of this triangle that we know with re in relation to this angle, the antenna, the 30, is the opposite. It's opposite this angle. And the 50 is the hypotenuse. So if you know your Sokotoa, it says that the sine of your angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which reduces to 0.6. On your calculator, there's a button, sine inverse of 0.6, and that will give you your answer, which is, uh, let's see, on this calculator, I probably have to do inverse sine of 0.6, that didn't work. Hold on. How about 0 0.6 inverse sine? And you get an answer of 36 point, uh, 36 point 86 degrees, which rounds to 37 degrees. Part 3, there were three points each. Here's